All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Barbie and Marcus Lucas Show, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about, is this real news or false news coming out by Yahoo Finance, ladies and gentlemen? Well, our co-host, Martin, ladies and gentlemen. Martin, what is about this Enphase false news or true news? Let's find out, Martin. Take it away. The case for Enphase. <laughs> I, I love doing these reviews when they talk rubbish. This channel is going to call you out if you talk rubbish. So that stock is down, by the way, about 70% year to date. And the company talking about falling demand in Europe and also falling demand in the U.S. driven by California. There's all No, that's not right. There's not falling demand either. Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor, Enphase Energy. As you know, I'm extremely bullish on this stock and uh, I had an average of 150, 160, wherever it was, I forget now. And I kept buying it all the way down to $70. I think I got around about $70. We've seen some volatility over the last few days. We know that in two quarters now, with the interest rates coming down, which they will, no one has said that yet, but I'm saying it, in the spring and the summer they will, Enphase Energy is a four and a six X. It can double, it can double just by the first quarter. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely confident of that, hence why I use margin at 8% to buy at Enphase at $70. I've gone all in on Enphase. I want to bring you some information. Uh, if you are new here to my channel, click subscribe and ring the bell and uh, tap the like button. We are now doing reviews, deep dive reviews on all my stocks. And uh, I'm also in contact now with CFOs, uh, CEOs of companies, and we're doing a series called Meet the CEO. So if you are watching me on social media, if you are watching me on X and you work at the company, please reach out via a, a direct message and I am putting together a series of uh, companies where I wish to speak to the CEOs, CFOs and members of the company. Very, very excited about that series of videos that I'm bringing you plus our reviews. Uh, we're now get doing reviews now for Alpha Spread and our reviews rank above CNBC, Bloomberg's because they're honest and real and they're not just made uh, from an analyst pumping stocks. I do want to go into uh, a bit of news here and share with you. Energy stocks continuing to get hammered this morning. The biggest manufacturers among wind turbines and solar panels. We're talking about Enphase, Sunran, Sunrun and SunPower, just to name a few, are at risk of facing some of its biggest financial challenges in years thanks to volatile costs and high interest rates. So Exactly. It's all to do with interest rates, but of course, it's all about, and we've always said, there's no issue with Enphase. Uh, Enphase is the leader, way, way better than these other companies. Its margins is better. Uh, its, its cash reserves is better. Its whole structure is better. I know I use, I have Solar Edge in, in England. I have it on my house. I know how good it is. I know, I know that Europe wants it. I know the new markets that want it. They just can't afford it now because of interest rates. The, the, uh, the, we know now that their interest rates will be coming down in the spring and the summer, holding rates until then, but we know that things are going to get better. And uh, an end phase with its margins, it, it can um, afford to sell less uh, where, and it'll put the other businesses out of uh, out of business. And what you'll find is uh, come the spring and the summer, some of these companies might be bust, but end phase will be around to pick up all of the business. Let's hear a little bit more. The question here is how and when will the sector see a long-term rebound? Yahoo Finances and S4A has the details. Do you have an answer for us, Inez? Not right now, but I do have some information about what's happening in the industry overall and what we're seeing with these uh, energy initiatives. Look, uh, when we talk about energy initiatives, what we're talking about with these renewable companies, we're talking about basically two categories here. We're looking at wind and we're also looking at solar. So let's first take a look at what's happening with wind because there have been wind projects around the world and here in the US um, that have been going on and those are facing some headwinds with those higher interest rates, Akiko, that you had mentioned, the higher cost of capital, inflation, supply issues in the industry as well. And you don't have to look that far in the Northeast. There's some wind, offshore wind projects uh, that have been initiated and those are stalling. In fact, you had some governors recently. Production crew, get me back on here. Play quick, I'm quit that black screen. But ladies and gentlemen, my God, that Yahoo finance lady, Read a script on this, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go against Martin Lucas because he got his stuff down pat, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Mark Lucas will throw you under the bus. 
Like I like to say, ladies and gentlemen, he can call you rubbish, rubbish, ladies and gentlemen. We need that on the shirt, ladies and gentlemen. Rubbish, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Let's get that on the shirt there, Martin Lucas. I'll see you on the next Martin Lucas show, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out.